Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is said to have many different twists and turns as well as surprises in this film by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. So one aspect of Episode 9 that a lot of people are really looking forward to seeing in this movie is of course exactly what new secrets will be unveiled in this film by J.J. Now all thanks to Vanity Fair, we got exclusive first looks at some of the new characters and locations for this story, as well as new story and plot details that were confirmed just today that were handed down by J.J. Abrams himself. In case you guys did not know, J.J. Abrams got to go ahead and give multiple plot elements and details to Vanity Fair that they were allowed to talk about in their article on their website and, of course, on their official YouTube channel in one of the videos where they were able to explain one of the major plot pieces of Episode 9 that's really going to make us look back at The Force Awakens in a different way, as well as other parts of the canon material that fall under the Disney Star Wars universe. Now what's really intriguing is what Vanity Fair had to say about one of the major plot elements that were just confirmed today about Episode 9, is that this is what Vanity Fair had to say briefly but yet very important to the story. We are going to learn more about the origin of the First Order, which is something that The Force Awakens kind of skipped over. We are going to go back in this movie and explore how we found of how we found of how we got into this whole entire mess starting with The Force Awakens. So that's what Vanity Fair had to briefly say about the rise of Skywalker and one of the big elements that J.J. Abrams was able to share with them where they can actually talk about this in their video and in their article. So what I like about the origins of the First Order is that we're going to be learning more and more about exactly how Snow grows to power and of course exactly how the First Order was born. Now of course Star Wars Resistance it touches on this a little bit but this is actually going to go into greater depth and it's going to explore all of the different answers that a lot of people have been questioning for the longest time now. Now this may very well fall directly in line with some of the leaks that we went over a couple of months ago where a lot of the younger Snoke you know visions and or flashback sequences would be implemented into this film that would fully explain the origins of the First Order and exactly where things are really going in this movie. So with that being said guys, like I say, you know, you can really see that JJ is really trying to cram in a lot of stuff into this movie, and it looks like that this film needs to be at the very least three hours long in length. The fact that they are going to go over the origins of the First Order in this movie sounds like a very complex storyline and a lot of things to really discover and explain in one movie. So with that being said, the fact that they're going to be answering everything related to the origins of the First Order, you know, as confirmed by Vanity Fair that was handed down by JJ, I don't know about you guys, but it tells me that this gives out the potential of a lot more canon and lore to be explored after The Rise of Skywalker is released, whatever it may be in the form of a book, a novel, a comic, a TV series, whatever have you. you know, there's a lot of mystery in between the two different eras of the sequels and the originals that are in fact going to be explained in episode 9, which is great news. So all thanks to Vanity Fair for that big confirmation today. Now, what does this really tell us about the rise of Skywalker and Kylo Ren and Supreme Leader Snoke and everybody else affiliated with the First Order? Now, one other new detail that we actually learned is that General Pride, all right, in case you guys did not know, uh, General Pride is actually going to be a character that is portrayed by, of course, Richard E. Grant. This character is going to play a role in the origins of the First Order since this character is indeed an older character, he's got a lot of past behind himself, and a lot of people are just really curious about exactly how this character is going to be connected to some of the origins of the First Order. So, in that photograph today, you know, of course, we got the first look of General Hux and General Pride, and what I gotta say is this, is that in case you guys have been hearing that he's, in fact, Hux's father, he's actually not. Uh, Hux's father is called Brindle Hux. This character is General Pride. So, with that being said, guys, I cannot be more excited about this movie to see exactly what J.J. is really going to explore in this film and what they're really trying to do in order to really interconnect all the nine movies together and to answer a lot of the burning questions from The Force Awakens that will not that will actually be answered in Episode 9 that were not answered in The Last Jedi. So, this is good news. I think, that in my opinion... You know, learning about the origins of the First Order, it's going to really flesh out the story. It's going to make it feel more connected and more understandable, I guess you could say, in a sense, right? Now, sure, in the originals, we never got the full explanation of, you know, the origins of the Empire. That wasn't, of course, up until the prequel trilogy era when we learned that. 
but this is actually going to tap into that in one big movie. So from the way things are sounding, it really seems like J.J. is very ambitious about this movie. He's very goal-driven with this film, and he's really trying to make it the best of the sequel trilogy. And guys, like I say, I'm very optimistic about this film. I'm really giving J.J. a chance, and everything that I have been hearing personally, I gotta say, everything is really coming together quite well. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.